Hi and welcome to a showcase of the ballistic system that I just added in the marketplace. Uh, so just to quickly show you what it does, it basically gives you uh, penetration, it can give you ricochet and um, and all those will differ in the, the surface types that will hit and they also will calculate the damage based on the amount of um, surface that they already covered, um, you know, the type of surface that they're going through, etc. And if I just play to show you, right now I just shoot um, line traces. So if I right click, there you go. So you can hit, I'm hitting the metal example. So in the metal, uh, they will penetrate, not have much deviation. And once they lose the strength and no longer can apply damage, they will not penetrate anymore. Uh, but for example, in the concrete, there's more deviation. So you can see they are going a little bit more to the left and to the right and up and down. And they can go a little bit further than the metal, but then they will also stop. And this is all adjusted at runtime. Uh, so, for example, if I shoot this very, uh, you know, if I make this a thick uh, layer over here, and if I try to shoot it, it will probably block the bullet. So you can see that there is no, uh, no penetration. And now to show the the. Um, the ricochet. Now, if I go to at an angle, and you can also change this, you can see that it will ricochet and then uh, hit uh, whatever it goes. And you can see that it can go uh, into further distances. And this can also happen through penetration. So, for example, uh, I mean, it depends if I'm lucky, but if I can penetrate and the bullet goes at an angle uh, through the surface, it might ricochet and go through. But that's uh, because it's uh, errors randomization, it's a little bit difficult to get uh, done. Uh, but yeah, uh, so uh, you can also define uh, the effects and you, you have events to basically set when they hit, when they penetrate, or when they ricochet off a surface. Right now I'm just spawning little draw debug spheres with different colors, uh, but you can uh, on those places also um, set your, you know, for example, sound effects or particle systems um, based on the surface. So, for example, if I go into my test character, this is where I am uh, setting everything up. You can see that it's just this code that you need to call, basically. And there are the event trace it, the event trace exit. And now you can know if it's a ricochet or if it has gone through. And I'm just changing the color. But you get access to the location, the direction, for example, if you want to apply a decal correctly, and the surface type if you want different effects for uh, different surfaces. And over here you have the settings. So you have this um, differentiated in a couple of settings. And it basically just shows you um, the value that you want. For example, for the default, I just went with the huge damage reduction for one meter of surface penetrated. And over here, I just took away 50 for the concrete and 80 for the metal, because the metal is more dense. Uh, the surface penetration exit spread amount, so there's kind of randomization um, in this kind of, uh, you know, once it penetrates, because normally it doesn't go exactly on the same direction. So for example, for the concrete, I'm giving it more deviation for the sides. And on the metal, because normally metal, um, it just snaps, it doesn't give as much deviation, I just put a lower value. And for example, for the ricochet angle threshold, it's basically, um, you know, uh, you need to eat it at an angle, and if you do on the concrete uh, at basically 30 degrees, it will ricochet, so you basically need to be uh, really at the side, and for the metal, uh, it's a little bit easier to get ricochet, so the value is higher. Uh, and yeah, this is kind of the settings, and you can see that these uh, will appear over here. Now, these settings are based on the project settings that you have. If you go into your project settings, go into physics, um, these are uh, set by your surface types. So if you add more surface types, you'll have more selections over here to choose from. And basically, over here, I'm just setting up a full auto example. Uh, so, you know, I can shoot like a machine gun, and you can see that there's no penetration, but if I do that over here, and just randomly shoot. You can see there's a bunch of uh, deviations and penetration settings. And obviously this works with any kind of textures, um, uh, sorry, of uh, meshes, sorry. And you can define those, um, the type of meshes in your, if you select your component and you go into the trace object types, you can add whatever types you want. So I just have these four, but if you have like custom channels, you can add them over here. 
and you also have the trace complex if you want to trace you know per poly or you just want to use the simple collision and you have the ricochet damage loss percentage so this is basically uh, when you ricochet something how much do you want to lose uh, on the damage so for example if you hit someone straight up you're gonna make a hundred damage but then the damage that will be applied after you penetrate a ricochet will be reduced um, in this case on the ricochet will be reduced by 65% but you can also change that and yeah that's everything uh, it's pretty simple to use um, I'll do probably another video in more detail uh, if need be but basically you just add this component into any character and you need to add the bi underscore ballistic system interface uh, and then call these two events if you want them and basically the only thing that you need to input is the shot origin uh, you need to do the direction, I'm basically just using the muzzle of my gun, uh, the base damage, uh, the shot range, basically, uh, I just you, I just put a high value over here, but this is basically if you want to range on your weapons, and then you just drag out of these and do a make, map, and then we'll have, uh, you can add a pin and change the, the keys, and then change the values as well. Uh, I can really see the lines because of these. Let me just see. Yeah, I need to connect these back. There you go. But yeah, that's basically it. Um, and I just I'm doing just the right mouse button. Just call this like a semi-auto, and I'm just set a timer on the left mouse button to do kind of automatic. Now just pay attention if you play this on the test level, you're gonna get a performance hit because of the draw debug spheres are a bit heavy. Uh, but obviously. You know you're not going to be drawing you know in the real gameplay so you can substitute this by your particle effects and test that but in terms of cpu and you know especially you know bandwidth you and everything for multiplayer games this is really cheap so you can have like uh, dozens of players shooting automatic weapons with the system and it, i think it will end up well i did a couple of tests on the editor but it's a little bit difficult to do in a real multiplayer environment but because they are using line traces and not physical projectiles uh, it's much more cheaper. So yeah, everything will go smoothly. So yeah, I think that's gonna be it. Uh, if you guys have any questions regarding the system or any suggestions for further updates, let me know in this comments or in the marketplace page. Um, and yeah, that's gonna be it. Um, if you buy it, thank you and I'll see you later. Bye bye.